Fat molecules can be formed by dehydration synthesis and broken down by hydrolysis. We'll look at both of these processes here. We'll start with the synthesis of fats. If we take a molecule of glycerol and combine it with three fatty acid molecules, we get a fat and three molecules of water. This takes place using a process called dehydration synthesis. Let's take a more detailed look at this process. Here's a molecule of glycerol, which can be called glycerin or propane 1, 2, 3 triol. Notice it has three carbon atoms, each with an OH group attached to it. A fatty acid consists of a long chain of carbon and hydrogen atoms and a COOH or carboxyl group on the end. A carboxyl group has a double bonded oxygen atom and an OH group attached to a carbon atom. In most cells, the fatty acid chains are typically about 16 to 18 carbon atoms long, but shorter ones do occur. We are representing the shorter one here so it fits better into our video frame. Just remember, they are usually longer in most common fats. Note in this particular fatty acid that all the bonds between carbon atoms are single covalent bonds and the carbon atoms in the chain are attached to the maximum number of hydrogen atoms they can hold. Such a fatty acid is said to be a saturated fatty acid. Looking at another fatty acid, we see that this one has a double bond between two of the carbon atoms in the chain. Because each carbon atom can only have a total of four bonds, there are less bonds available for hydrogen atoms. So this molecule has less hydrogen atoms than a saturated fatty acid with the same number of carbon atoms. Fatty acids with one or more double bonds between carbon atoms are called unsaturated fatty acids. Some contain one double bond in various locations and some contain two or more double bonds. Here is a molecule of glycerol. We have elongated the bonds between the carbon atoms in order to fit our molecular model better. And here are three fatty acid molecules. Many different fatty acids can form fats, some with longer or shorter chains, as well as some saturated ones with no double carbon-carbon bonds, and some unsaturated ones with one or more double carbon-carbon bonds. In this example, we have two saturated and one unsaturated fatty acid. These H atoms come off the glycerol molecule during dehydration synthesis, so we'll color them red. And these OH groups come off the fatty acids during dehydration synthesis, so we'll color them blue. Now we'll look at the process of forming a fat molecule. The molecules move closer together, even though all the fatty acids join to glycerol at the same time. We'll watch them one by one here to make it easier to understand. The top fatty acid bonds to the glycerol with dehydration synthesis, producing one water molecule. We'll move that water molecule over here. Now watch as the second fatty acid bonds to the glycerol by dehydration synthesis, producing another water molecule, which we'll move over here. And finally, the third fatty acid moves in and joins the glycerol with another dehydration synthesis and we'll move its water molecule over here. And now we've formed a fat. Fats can also be called triglycerides. The prefix tri is used because it has three fatty acids. So we can now summarize by stating that glycerol combines with three fatty acids to form a fat and three molecules of water. Now we'll have a look at hydrolysis of a fat molecule. We'll start with a fat molecule and three water molecules. When the appropriate enzyme is present, the water molecules will break these bonds on the fat molecule, adding H atoms to the glycerol and OH groups to the fatty acids. This is the process of hydrolysis, or adding water to break up a large molecule. Let's watch the whole process as the water molecules move in and break up the fat molecule. Mm -hmm. 
Now we've got a molecule of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acids. Now we'll summarize the process of hydrolysis. We start with a fat molecule, and in the presence of the appropriate enzyme, we add three water molecules. And the fat breaks down into a glycerol molecule and three fatty acid molecules. Breaking down fats into glycerol and fatty acids by hydrolysis is a very important process in the digestion of foods we eat. Thank you.